Today we're going to be testing out Cassie Lang. Now unfortunately the developers are still living in 2018 so they only allow us to get this character to level 70 gear 25. She cannot currently be transcended or tier 3. It is quite a travesty. I don't know what these guys are thinking. So in order to make this I guess entertaining and to also accurately assess the character's power level I decided that I'm going to be using her with my secondary deck without the help of Pierce and all of these additional stats. That way we can kind of see what she looks like as a normal tier 2 character because if I were to jump into content with her right now at tier 2 we're only going to be able to use her in World Boss Ultimate. And with 25% Pierce and all of this attack, she's just going to melt it and it's going to make her look better than she actually is. I'm still working on the secondary deck, so I might change around a few cards here or there. But for now, this is what we're going to be using, okay? I can't believe I'm back in World Boss Ultimate and I'm using Strikers. But we're on stage 50 and I'm curious to see how she performs here. She's not the most proc friendly character. But I'm gonna try. Hold on. Really? Wow. Um, that was kind of really bad for double support. Come on. Really? No way, bro. You gotta be joking. Yeah. Sh sh this is what it's like to play without Pierce now? Oh my gosh. Can she actually even do this? Okay. Hold on guys, let, let me see something. Let me, let me just make sure that her damage is just trash. Let me, let me do it. go ahead and turn it back on. I just cannot believe this. Hold on. What am I seeing right now? This is stage 50. I think it's been like three years since I've been on stage 50 for anything. Like in ultimate anyways, like, come on, bro. Oh yeah, it was just that her damage is trash. Look how much of a dip, bro. Look how much of a difference my cards make. Like, okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, so, wow. <laughs> Unless you have crafted cards, she should, bro, imagine if I didn't turn off all of my OP cards, bro. I would be in here screaming to high heavens that she's some type of DPS monster. Cause if I go up to like 99 right now and then try to run this, she probably gonna do it in like 30 seconds. I get it that Pierce is really hard, easy to get right now, but like considering that she's a tier two character, like I feel bad testing her with Pierce. Like, look at it. Like, it just doesn't make sense, bro. Okay, hold on. Boom. Yep, 30 seconds pretty much. Like, he's gonna cutscene. Okay. Nope, he, um, he got, wow, he got um, paralyzed. Yeah, so I was right. So about 30 seconds. But if I just turn off all of my OP cards, he's just immediately gonna look like trash. That's actually mad. Let me see what kind of damage we do in 30 seconds if I just turn off. Guys, if y'all want to see this more often, let me know, man. Because, like, this is kind of crazy. This is making me want to go back and reevaluate literally all of my um my tier 4s. And see if they can actually clear content without my cards, bro. <laughs> like, like, what? This is mad. This is mad. Holy, like, is she good or is she bad? Like, bro, look at this. The same rotation that was like doing, like, I don't know, 50 bars before. Close to it, anyways. Like 12 bars or whatever. Now can't even move one, bro. This is actually nuts. Is there even any point in like evaluating her without the help of like my guards? There's two different rotations that you can use, but like there's a high chance of like you missing your proc if you try to delay the three and then delay the five. Like I got it right there, but it's, it's tough to try and delay five and then delay three because you want to get three to slam down. So you get that purple dome and then you also want to do 
I should, it's better to show you in the, the preview, man. But like, holy, this is botched, bro. Like, for real, for real. I was hoping that she would be able to clear content like back in the day because Pierce wasn't always a thing. It wasn't always a thing for everyone to have like um five... um. I'm, I'm using the wrong wasp, bro. I get them mixed up so often, it's actually kind of annoying. So yeah, when you, um, you're um you using her, you want to charge up with the three, slam down, and after you slam down, that's when you're going to get that bubble there, right? If you don't let her slam down, look, you don't get anything, okay? Now, you get the buffs and stuff, but you don't get any um of the damage. And then for the five, if you cancel out of it immediately, you also don't get anything. Right, you get the buff like i shouldn't say anything you still get the buff at the top here right and you still get the invincibility but um you have to sit wait and then let it go and then she summons like i don't know what you call that quantum machine because i haven't seen the movie i don't know what the hell that is but uh yeah so you have to delay cancel the three then delay cancel the five and then proc on four because the four has the uh stinger rush but that feels like a rage proc type um, of play style. I'm starting to think it might have been a waste of my time to put together this set right here. And the set itself isn't that bad. That's 30% cooldown. The ignore defense is kind of low. The attack overall isn't bad either. I think I want to swap out the uh, Medusa card for something else at some point. But like realistically, I think maybe I should just put at least one premium card that's crafted in there to give myself 2% pierce. I don't think it's accurate to assess characters these days with zero percent pierce that just might be me but um yeah she looked really really bad let me see Thanos with um full pierce i guess let me see how this goes all right let's go three boom we managed to line up everything perfectly there let's see if we can skip this with Thanos. we keep him paralyzed that's good beautiful However, all of that is now done. It's just me or Desert Icon look way bigger than Janet. Well, they did make her model bigger. I'm just used to Wasp being tiny. Actually, I think I might be able to delay the five. I think I'm being a little bit of a scaredy cat. I don't know. We're missing the proc. I just wish one of them, like maybe the fifth skill should have been an insta cancel. I don't mind slamming down for the three, but I think you should be able to instant cancel the five. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think she's more proc friendly than I gave her credit for. Yeah. It still sucks that she's trapped the tier two though. Like, I think it's nonsense. You're still running the risk of missing the proc if you um wait in the five for too long, but it seems as though. I, I may have like um, underestimated her ability to successfully land the procs. Unfortunately, guys, I can't really show you too much with her. I was hoping that she would be able to perform better with, with the new player set. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Anyways, guys, this is the build. Not anything crazy. As you can see, I'm running her with a 200% critical rate proc. But truthfully speaking, I don't even know how to assess this character since her performance with the free to play, new player friendly, non peer set was was abysmal but then she looked really good when i had the peers it's just really confusing i hate having to test tier 2 characters when we have tier 4 in the game like it makes no sense